Welcome back, everybody, and thank you for spending some time with me. I am very grateful. We're back inside Evil Genius 2, and we are going to continue on from where we left off in the last episode. Uh, we did a few things. We updated our security and gave that a test. Um, I went ahead and actually paused the game for a few minutes and reimagined our security even further. And so let me walk you through it real quick. Initially, we had these kind of channels that the agents would have to navigate once they came through the door here. And that seemed to be working really well. And so I went back to the channel idea where they're going to walk in. We've got the magnet that's going to pull them into different traps. So they're going to get pulled into the punching gloves in channel one. They're going to get pulled into poisonous gas, channel two. Then killer bees in channel three. And if they make it that far, there will be a shark tank waiting for them in channel four. Uh, and if somehow they manage to make it to channel five, we've got a fan that's going to blow them and bounce them all the way back to the beginning. Uh, and if that weren't enough, we've got poison darts at each turn. And I figured, you know, why not put our guards just right here off the corridor of channel three? Because by this point, if they make it this far, uh, they're going to be worn down and probably ready to put in handcuffs. And so we've got a security room here uh, in our traps corridor as well. So it'll be fun to see how these work and uh, if it's going to work like we think it is. Uh, it was working before, so I have I have good reason to think that this is going to work again. Uh, we've just got um, five layers of traps for them to get through before they actually make it into our base. Uh, we put the camera right here, and so if they do happen to make it this far uh, and our security guards have not yet seen what's happening or heard the commotion in the corridor. Uh, then the camera will see them and our guards will be triggered and, and ready to go. Okay, so we've got flamethrower uh, as part of our research. We've got all these other things researched. What's this? A fake safe. No rogue can resist a challenge, so keep them occupied and vulnerable to discovery. Nothing safe about it. We've got a paywall, the most devious invention of modern times. Stops progress dead until your victim reaches into their wallet. Truly, truly evil. So they have to pay. Okay. And laser disco. The coolest cats won't be able to resist the mind-bending beats. Or captivating rhythms. The lasers will do the rest. Well, that... Sounds like something we need to do. And so we are going to research laser disco because why wouldn't we? Uh, and we'll continue to uh, do the research here as well. We've got quite a bit left. Um, I would like to get through some more research in this episode as well. Maybe uh, move on to stun staffs and heavy staffs and intruder protocol capture. That sounds good. Uh, but for now, we also have some things going on on the world stage. So let's see what our objectives are. So our minions are doing well. It looks like we need to continue to bring on some specialists. So we'll jump into our side stories here. Minion recruitment. We've got socialite. Okay, so we're in the middle of this one. Okay. So there's someone in our lair that we need to interrogate. And there she is. So we will escort her to the chair, and this will unlock, hopefully, the ability for us to train socialites. Uh, again, we've already got one or two because we captured a few rogues, put them in the brainwashing station, and uh, they became socialites and now work for us. Still not, not exactly sure what they're doing for us, but probably something a little bit um, more in, in, intentional and intense than our valets. Okay, so we have agents <laughs> in, our, in our base, 
And these will be the first we're going to test on our new security system. So once they're done playing games, we will see what happens. All right, the first one's going in. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. So trap channel number one is working perfectly. <laughs> Boys and darts working perfectly. Channel two. <laughs> Poisonous gas. Yep. Okay. All right. Now we've got killer bees. Oh, they're going to disable poison darts. <laughs> Killer bees have come out. Okay. <laughs> He's running into the security guard's room. Oh, that's funny. One of them um, is getting up. Yep. Looks like he's... Uh... <laughs> Oh, they've made it to the shark tank. Oh, and they're going to have a guard just waiting for them. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> they uh, died. They seem to have died. So uh, if they make it to Channel 4, it looks like that's kind of the, the extent of their vitality. So... Um, I guess that's good. I guess that's good. We, we've had soldiers and the like um, try and infiltrate our base, and they, their vitality, I think, is a little bit stronger. And so this will be good for soldiers uh, and anybody else uh, that may try and infiltrate the base. The other thing that popped up in the last episode was we've got these different people now around the world. And I'm not quite sure what they're all about. So this is Miss Foxworthy. John Steele's disappearance shocked Saber Intelligence to its core. Its old section disbanded and its director disappeared. But her secretary, Penny Foxworthy, decided the world still needed John Steele. Using knowledge gleaned from her old boss, she founded a new initiative, the Steele Program. Okay, well... I think we'll just try and keep the heat down where we can. But yeah, there's a handful of these different characters now on the map. And if I were a betting man, I would say that we will probably encounter some of them at some point. We have quite a few agents in our containment cells, so we are going to Extract some information from them. Yeah, we've got quite a few here. So we will just get the information we need. Um, and they will go into the Happy Fun Time rooms and just have a great time. But uh, the other update I did while I had the game pause uh, was an update to our cafeteria. So you might notice that there's a slight redesign here. And I wanted to set it up more like a real-life cafeteria. And so we've got people coming in to the entrance right here. They've got the daily special shown right there on the board. Uh, and then they can circulate around this kind of central area, sit down, have something to eat. And then the people actually working behind the counters have these doors that they can go in. And they, too, can circulate around the back of house area. Uh, over here we've got storage for all of the sludge that they use to make the food that is served to our minions. Um, I don't know if this is Soylent Green-esque or what, but uh, we've also got vending machines here in the middle as well as condiments and tray disposal. So when they're done they can just empty their trays right here. But I think this is a better setup. I think it's a more realistic setup uh, and just a little bit more thought out. So it seems to be working. People are happy. Pretty sure that star means they're happy. 
Uh, and we did the same thing with the food area over here, where we've got folks coming up, uh, bellying up to the bar here, and then we've got our back of house, our sludge barrels, and uh, condiments, and disposal. So, yeah, it's um, it was a pretty, pretty nice little update um, I did at the end of the last episode, just to kind of continue to clean the base up. Uh, I love the way that the traps are working here. Um, let's see what happened after we interrogated that socialite. Main objectives, okay. Side story. The interrogation yielded some useful information on how to build a socialite trainer. Okay, so like we've done before, we need to build the proper tools for them to train with. So we'll go over to our training facility and should have a new item here. Yep, the socialite trainer. So we're gonna drop that in. We will train up a few socialites and that should complete that objective for us. Let's see, I think, let's adjust some of our numbers here. Socialite. Well, do six scientists yeah that's all good probably don't need as many scientists let's just do six muscle 12 12 so we have seven of these uh, i'm guessing we converted them with our brainwashing machine i'm not quite sure what those are yet um, but we are well on our way to unlocking additional types of minions which is part of our main objective here let's check the vault because i see our capacity is kind of reaching its maximum as well so that's over here and let's see if we can add a little bit more space to our vault uh, at the same time we can go jump over here and inspire our biologists to do their best we can find a place to stand over here. What are these? Some sort of centrifuge. What is this? Yep, it's a centrifuge. Okay, those are huge. Oh man, I don't know what's in there. I don't think I want to ask, but we'll see what kind of effect we can have on these folks. There we go. Spin those centrifuge a little bit faster. Let's see. Oh, a trap has been triggered. Oh, soldiers. Okay. Well, we'll capture them. I'm glad some of these traps were triggered with these soldiers, but my casino is now empty. I don't like that. The soldiers seem to disrupt everybody's fun in the casino, which is not cool. Not cool. All right, well, that wasn't so bad. I think having our guards just sitting here at a table was actually really helpful in this case. And I set up some booths here with some stun clubs because ideally I would prefer to capture most people that are going to try and get into the base because we can either A, extract them for information or B, put them in the brainwashing station and make them part of our crew. Uh, and so... I'm glad we have enough cells to really house whoever comes through the door, at least thus far. We'll get these agents into the interrogation chairs, I mean the happy fun time chairs, and we'll get the information we need from them. Well, let's jump back over to our objectives. Let's see. The other minion recruitment option we have here is Spin Doctor. So we'll do that one next and see what that is. That sounds interesting. I'm gonna speed up time a little bit so that we can get this socialite train and move our objectives along. But overall, I think the base is looking really good. We'll probably need to find more room for our communication equipment at some point uh, because we will need to expand our network on the world stage. Uh, Oh, here we go. A new type of minion is now available. Okay, so we're going to get a little bit of cash. 
Let's see, refreshment bar, welcome desk, and piano. A tourist in my lair, get them. Actually, boss, I'm one of your staff. Oh good, we need a bit of class out, out there. Keep those tourists busy and we'll get along just fine. Are you going to call off your guards? Maybe. Okay, so we've got socialites. We will move on to Spin Doctor for our next side story. Look at all these headlines. They're saying I'm a heartless criminal who would rob banks, aren't you? Strike Team 8 did that last week by your express order. Maybe, but I'm not heartless. I have an image problem, that's all. Find me someone who can fix that. You mean someone who can airbrush your pictures? A public relations specialist dolt. Someone who will make all this fake news go away. Okay. So it sounds like we need to head to the world stage again and find someone who can spin information for us with the press. Okay, where's our prompts? We've got a few here. Let's see. Okay, yeah, either of these is probably fine. We'll launch a scheme here. This level of old stamp is currently trying to convince the people of the world that an Arctic oil spill is a good thing for the wildlife after all. They're a snappy dresser, <laughs> eloquent, and utterly corruptible. Okay, yeah, we will go ahead and do that. In the meantime, our research is complete on our laser <laughs> disco floor. Oh my gosh. Okay, uh, and then I think let's actually do some research with our, our minions here. Henchman improvement. So we'll improve our henchman stats. And I'm actually going to put the laser disco floor in. I love the punching gloves, but I think we will uh, take these down so that we can actually see what the laser disco floor is. Oh, this is big. Um, let's see. We might have to put this one here. We'll move bees over here. And then we'll scoot this back. Laser disco floor? Yes. Okay. So we'll have enough room for a laser disco floor. Uh, <laughs> if they make it past the killer bees, two rounds of poisonous darts and uh, poisonous gas. Okay. Looks like we've captured some intruders. These are our soldiers who we will. Escort to the brainwashing station. We will scrub those brains nice and clean. Fill them with all sorts of good information. Okay, so this is Susan Yoon. So this must be our spin doctor. Okay, we will interrogate them. All right, we've got guards. There's our spin doctor getting interrogated. The wet willy. Okay. Uh, nothing to see. Nothing to see there. Uh, we got the information we needed. Now, we will probably have to build spin doctor trainer. Okay. Go over to our training area and drop one of these in. Okay, so we'll train up some spin doctors, and that's going to help our, our public image, because after all, we want to maintain a low profile for now, and any profile we have, we want that to be positive, of course. There seem to be requirements for being an evil genius, and I think we're hitting a lot of them. We've got Shark Tank, of course, you have to have that. We've got Evil Lair, we've got Minions, a Henchman. Um, I don't think we have an Animal Companion. Maybe that's what we're missing. It's just having a, an Evil Animal Companion with us. But looks like our morale is about done. So we will head back to the desk and recharge. In the meantime, I did hear a boat, which means we might have 
some more curious folks arriving at the island. Okay. No? Just regular old people. Okay, that's fine. That is fine. Okay, let's see how our training's going here. Okay, we... we We've got a socialite training in the social niceties and graces with the social robots chatting it up, drinking coffee and whatnot. Okay, and now we have a spin doctor who we put in front of television cameras and have him read things off of teleprompters. New item slot machine survey station. Okay, where do you want me to start? Make me look like a person of the people. I'll find some hands for you to shake, babies for you to kiss. On second thought, make me look like a person above the people. Okay. Very cool. All right. We've unlocked eight different kinds of specialists. We will collect our reward. It's lonely being the only one with a brain around here. A burden the rest of us can only imagine. If I could collaborate with some decent researchers, I'd be able to perfect my void designs. We'll kidnap some right away. No, they'll come here freely. No research can resist a conference. Hotel bars. Lanyards. They'll love it. <laughs> Lanyards. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know how many conferences or events y'all have been to, but you almost always get a lanyard and your name's on it or whatever, or you have to put your pass in there. That is funny. Okay. The biologist can develop a formula that will improve your henchman's vitality, smarts, and morale. It's three parts protein powder, two parts ginkgo, and a biscuit. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Great. Uh, let's see, our layer. Luxury beds. Yes. We will give our minions the finest bedding to sleep on. Guaranteed a good night's sleep, cutting minions downtime considerably. That's great. Okay. So the training's going well. We've got minions running to and fro. Uh, I hear a boat. Let's see if there are any secret agents. Stepping off the boat. Yes, there are. We will tag them for capture. And I am looking forward to seeing what happens with that crazy disco floor. Okay. We'll jump back up here. Okay. Spin it around. Now they're tagged for capture, um, but that doesn't mean that they won't stop and enjoy a drink or enjoy a game here and there. And I believe inside of this area, we will do, let's see, just by default, they'll be escorted back into the casino area where they will um, have a drink or play a game. And I want to say the stat. That drops his skill and maybe resolve as well um, because they're here to find clues. And if they can't actually make it into our our base, uh, then their resolve will drop. And I guess the more they drink and gamble, the, the, the lower their skill uh, in investigating is. So let's see what happens here. We'll see. Well, okay, well... <laughs> There happened to be a guard right there when they arrived. So all three of those are going to get taken in, and we'll have to just wait to see what happens with that laser disco floor another day. On the world stage, we were doing a lot of schemes that involved reducing the heat, and I think we can continue to do that. There's really not a lot of heat to speak of. Uh, let's see. What else can we do? 
I don't know that we need to particularly run any schemes right now either because our vault is at capacity practically. Um, something I do want to do is have a look at these new items that we've received. A welcome desk, so we should probably... We'll flank the entrance maybe with a welcome desk. We'll move the seating over. Let's see, let's do a welcome desk. What else do we have? A survey station. Okay, we'll have folks take a survey. Slot machines, piano, that sounds fancy. Put a piano there so when people walk in, first thing they hear is piano music. Let's see, I think we'll make this the, this is kind of our high rollers area, but I think, Maybe we'll put slot machines in there. I don't know. I don't know. Kind of like having the seats along the balcony edge so that people can look out the window there. I mean, we want to create a, a nice experience for the folks that visit our island. Let's see. Let's put some slot machines against this wall right here. Oh, these are big. Okay. Yeah, we might need to just have a, a dedicated room for these. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll sell these things. See what these slot machines are about. Make sure we've got enough room in here. Okay, let's see. See how many we can fit. We can fit four across here, I guess. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Okay. We'll just confirm that. Okay, our evil bed research is done, and we will move on to. See, we've got guard table, super serum, video games. All right, improve science, minions, morale. Yeah, we, we need video games in our lives, right? Okay. Oh, my goodness. Something's happening here. Something went down. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Looks like we had some more investigators try and make their way in. Well, we missed it. Okay, well, next time. Next time. All right. Oh, here's our slot machines. That's cool. Okay, reduces the skills of agents. Okay, and looks like the general public is using them as well, so that's great. I think we'll slide this one over and see if we can squeeze maybe some more stuff into this space. Some decor chairs. Okay, if you need to wait your turn before you play the slots, there we go. Okay. Yeah, it's looking good. It's looking good. The casino is filling with people again, which is great. Just, just what we want. People in there spending money. We will interrogate our prisoners. And let's check on our objective, which was invite the world's best minds. So, how do we do that? Probably on the world stage, I'm guessing. Do we have a prompt somewhere for that? Oh, here's one. Okay, so summon the world's top scientists to an exciting, inspirational, and perfectly safe conference about networking. So we will need to increase our criminal network or upgrade. Okay, Ricard criminal network level two. Okay, so we need to upgrade this from a level 1 to a level 2. Right now, looks like we're at level 1, so we'll do that. Let's see, we could probably upgrade a lot of these right now since we don't really have much else going on. Let's see, broadcast strength. Yep, so we're going to need more room for our communications. Oh, we've got four agents. Okay. Let's capture them. See what happens. We'll slow things down. Okay, so we've got someone here stuck on a magnet. All right. <laughs> okay. Once they're past the bees, see what happens now. Okay, dismantling our poison darts. 
Okay, into the poison gas. All right, our laser disco floor is next. See what happens. <laughs> okay, poison darts being disabled. Oh, a socialite's in the way. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I guess those would hurt if you were standing on the disco floor. <laughs> okay. Oh, our magnet kind of uh, kept them off the disco floor, though. I wonder if this is something we might need to put in our main hallway. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe up here. Um, <clears throat> maybe, maybe if somebody actually makes it to the door, they will have to disco their way into our base. Oh, not quite enough room. Let's see. Unless there's just something in the way. Oh, yeah. So we've got boxing gloves here too. So we will move these out of the way. <laughs> and we'll say our disco, laser disco, is the last ditch effort on our part to catch any intruders. <laughs> and we will, let's see, we can put, I think, laser wall? Flamethrower. That's what it was. We'll put a flamethrower in right here. And that'll be fun to see as well. Okay, well, we captured agents. I thought there were four of them. Did we miss one? Are they still out here? Yeah, I thought there were four. I wonder if I just forgot to tag one of them and they ended up in a body bag. I don't know. I don't know. If you guys saw it, you can leave a note in the comments. I, I wasn't paying close enough attention. With all that was happening right there, um, and and trying to figure out how to reimagine our traps network, but I gotta say the traps are I'm really enjoying the different ways that you can utilize and set up these traps. This is a lot of fun. Um, haven't seen this one go off yet. I'm hoping there's enough power to actually push someone back into this bumper, and I don't know. Uh, how far they'll bounce, but I'm hoping it'll bounce them all the way back to the beginning. Um, but so far, our traps have been working so well that there's just no need for this fan yet. In terms of expanding our communications, we may need to either repurpose this space and find our minions somewhere else to have a lounge area, or we can maybe go down another floor, and maybe this can be com communications here. Yeah, let's do that. I'm actually going to carve this out, and let's see, yeah, we can carve just about everything out of this area, and we will make this a communications room as well. Let's see how much is that going to cost? Yeah, digging. It's really expensive when you get into these other kinds of soil. So that right there is going to cost us about a quarter of what we have in our vault. So we will just get a nice little rectangular area here and fill it with radio repeaters. Okay. And computer consoles. I'm going to leave a little bit of space, um, I think, so that we can actually put some, I don't know, enrichment items in there. They seem to like to have their dot matrix printers and their data processing, whatever. So we will, we will give our communication specialists the very best in equipment. The video games are done. Okay, so we'll go to the research menu. We've got, let's see, multimedia education. Improve muscle minion smarts above 50. That sounds good. Super serum. Improve muscle minion vitality above 50. I like that. I think we'll do that. Uh, it feels like the insurgency is... Kind of ramping up in terms of just 
people visiting our base trying to figure out what we're doing. So I'm going to escort these guys to the chairs. Okay, we've attracted scientists on the world stage. I think this will be... Okay. Oh, yes, we were upgrading our network. So we will go ahead and do that. Then we're going to need to present Void at the conference table. Love using that conference table. Execute great scientist in the lair. Attempt to recruit Lena Lundstrom on the world stage. Okay, well, we've got a lot waiting ahead of us, but I think that's going to do it for this episode. If you would consider tickling those like and subscribe buttons, I would be very grateful. And as always, each new subscription, a can of cram will be donated to a local fallout shelter. We'll see you all in the next one.